Bonjour. Ça va Ça va. Oui. Non, portugais. Pardon euh, Je pense que le stop c'est pour le... Pour le... D'accord. Il y a 400 dirhams et mon ami 400 dirhams. Je vais monter avec les deux carrières, 400-400. Vu que tu stoppes là Non. Foda-se. La première fois, vous êtes au Maroc Première fois Ouais. 400 dirhams et 400 dirhams. Donnez-moi un pied à fraction. Pardon, je ne comprends pas. Je ne comprends pas. C'est bon Merci. Comme avec une multe, je ne vais pas me mettre à veine. Bem, ele explicou-vos o que é que se passou ou não? Mano, isto é assim, havia ali um stop, velho, a estrada, uma estrada que vai em frente tem um stop por que motivo, não se percebe. Welcome to Africa! After our first undesired encounter with police on this trip, and 150 dirhams or about 15 euros lighter we decide to keep driving south until our next adventure which proved to be right around the corner The Azru Cedar Forest is located to the south of Azru, a town 80 kilometers to the south of Fez. The Moroccan setters in this forest, some more than 400 years old, grow to heights of close to 60 meters and cover some 320 acres on the slopes of the Middle Atlas, the High Atlas and the Rif, at altitudes between 1200 and 2900 meters. Living among the enormous setters are troops of bald Barbary muckakes and bird life. Also known as Barbary apes, this native species to the Atlas Mountains of Algeria, Tunisia and Morocco proved to be some mischiefs.
After a long day of driving the windy and unfinished roads of the High Atlas, we finally arrive at the spot we are going to spend the night. As soon as we get there, Duarte alerts me on something that immediately makes me figure we're not gonna have a calm and relaxing end of day. Que que aqui? So here's our problem. As you can see, the car is in park and when we turn the key it shows that it's in drive and for that reason it doesn't allow us to turn on the car you know so we're basically kind of stranded here with the Jeep um, the first thing I'm gonna do is try to disconnect the battery and connect it back again so that it kind of like resets. Um, if it doesn't work, then we'll go from there. But I think disconnecting the battery is a good starting point. So guys, here's what's going on. Um, as you guys already saw the, the problem that we're having with the Jeep, um, we tried to disconnect the battery and reconnect it, but it didn't work out. And to be honest, it's not a car that I'm very familiar with. Um, so we're looking for a place with some signal, which is not uh, very easy around here. And we're gonna try to call our uh, Jeep mechanic back in Portugal to see if, if he has a solution for us. Um, I don't know if this is a common issue. Uh, do you guys that have Jeeps have this issue? Um, and if so, comment below and how to fix it. But anyways, we're gonna try and find a, a solution for it because otherwise we're kind of stranded here and we cannot leave this place. Um, so yeah, let's try to sort it out. That is where the cars are, right there. And this is the first place that we're finally able to get some signal. No? No signal? Okay, let's walk a little bit more. Só de rebote. Tá bem, então eu vou, eu vou tentar, eu vou experimentar isso. Tá bem, tá combinado. Tá bem, ok, obrigado, até já. Obrigado, obrigado. Precisely what we were hoping not to happen happened. Um, we weren't able to get the Jeep running and as far as we know it's an electronic issue with the transfer case so our only option is to take it to a repair shop. Um, the nearest big city with a, a repair shop that can help us is Kenifra which we already drove by. It's about 40 kilometers uh, north so this is our setup. First time ever where a duster uh, tows a big Jeep Wrangler. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And we will try to be as careful as we can, but it's our only option. Uh, we've heard that the tow truck to come here is about 2,000 dirhams, which is a lot of money. And also, uh, they would never come to our location right here. So we're gonna tow it to the road and then we'll try to tow it all the way to Kenifra. If we're not able to, then we'll find another solution. Yeah, that's it.
polícia da cidade a puxar um Jeep Wrangler. Isto é a cidade onde vamos arranjar o Jeep. A cidade, dizem eles. A maior cidade aqui à volta. Desafio-vos a encontrar uma, uma casa acabada de construir. Pardon, pardon, est-ce que vous pouvez répéter On est chez... Comment est-ce que ça Kenifra. Kenifra. Having tried all the troubleshooting given by the Jeep mechanic back in Portugal and none of it working, we are advised by him that it may be an electronic issue within the gearbox and our safest bet is to tow the vehicle to the official Jeep dealer in Marrakech about 700 kilometers away. Right as we're talking to the tow company, Mr. Mustafa, owner of a nearby repair shop, approaches us and asks us to take a look under the Jeep. With nothing to lose, we'll let him have it. Fala, Nuno. Mete-lhe uma rata. Logo assim, três pão. Say you make one turn around here, just here. You make one turn around like this test for SAA. He said, yo, we have shower inside. No, it's If okay. If you want to make shower, we'll we do have. Sure Thank you very much. We go to the desert now. Ah, many, many sand. Many sand. Ah, they have in, uh, when you go from here to Merzuga, here in the middle, there is, they have one garage. Merzuga? Ah. No, 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 no. Kerrando, ah, no. Kerrando. Rashidia. Ah, Rashidia. Ah, I show you, I show you. You have, you know the, the gorge, the canyon? Where? This canyon. You stay there, the people is nice. No, Maybe we visit the sleep. Madrid, you're not okay. bad. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you sleep there. Okay. It's a nice okay. place. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Shukran. Shukran. Merci, Shukran. monsieur. Bon voyage. Obrigado. Au revoir.
just arrived here at Lake Tiznit. It's one of two lakes that are very famous and they have a story which is really cool. But right now uh, we're at 2400 meters and it's very cold compared to the previous places we slept at. So right now the plan is to get the duster, try to go get some firewood which we already collected some on the way here because we figured that it would be cold and uh, yeah we're just gonna bring some more firewood the tents are gonna the tents are gonna stay uh, two guys are gonna start working on setting up the camp and the other two uh, are gonna go get some firewood to keep us warm so yeah that's the plan legend has it that a boy and a girl from two rival amazon tribes weren't allowed to pursue their love for each other because of this rivalry still their love was so deep that they decided to flee the tears that they shed soon become two lakes, which were named after them, Isli and Tislet. Aware that they had made a serious mistake in fleeing and could no longer turn back, they preferred to drown each in their own lake. It was not until the tragic deaths of their two respective members, the two tribes were reconciled. This budding friendship will seal the beginning of the engagement Muslims, which has become a major annual event in the Moroccan High Atlas, taking place in the city of Imilchil in September every year. So guys, this concludes our third episode. Next week we will keep driving south, cross the Grand Todra Gorges and finally enter the desert as we spend the night inside the world-famous Gara Medwar, also known as the Portuguese prison. Please help us out by liking our videos, sharing with your friends and overlanding community and commenting. Everybody's comments are welcome and we really enjoy reading you guys' feedback. Thank you once again for watching and until next time, bye bye.